Anyone who's going to take your questions on the game? Here we go. Would you like to start? I was confident because uh, the team never stopped to play and, and to try, but at the same time it happened, for example, recently against Southampton here, that we kept trying, we kept playing and the goal was never, was never arriving. But I think we played we played well. I think we had a good game. I think they gave us a difficult game because they they defended very very well. But I think we we deserve the victory. To be honest, I don't think we need a replay. I don't think a team like them fighting for a promotion doesn't need a replay. But that's the that's the rules of of the competition, and we almost go for a second game. Jose, and Antonio Look, I don't blame him. Honestly, I don't blame him. I think uh, the press should apologize to me and to him. Because um, the question that comes to him is uh, completely wrong. And because of that, he had that um, out of control reaction. But I don't blame him at all. Uh, I was asked about my passion, and you know because most of you were in my in my press conference. I was speaking about myself, and then uh, the question to the Chelsea manager was like I told that he behaves like a clown. Probably the journalist want to say that, but didn't have the courage to say that. So he told Mourinho told that you behave as a clown. So I don't blame the Chelsea manager at all, and I understand his reaction. I was speaking about myself, uh, saying that I don't need to behave as a clown um, to show uh, passion, that um, I control my, my emotions in a better way. Everybody knows I don't need the Chelsea manager to say that I made mistakes in the past, and I will make in the future, hopefully. Um, I know that I celebrate goals running 50 meters, I celebrate goals sliding in on my knees, I, I, I got um, uh, celebrations jumping to the, uh, to the crowd. Uh, I'm not free of that, especially if, if we score a, uh, a winning goal in a specific um, moment. I'm not free to have an out-of-control reaction, but what I was trying to say is that uh, I behaved bad a few times, and uh, in this moment I control myself much better. Doesn't mean that my passion is not the same. So, a wrong question, and obviously uh, a strong answer, but I don't blame, you know? The only thing I want to say to end the story is that yes, I made mistakes in the past on the touchline. Yes, I will make less, but I think I will still make a few. What never happened to me and will never happen is to be suspended for match fixing. That never happened to me and will never happen. Okay, any more questions on the game? Yeah, and amazing goal. You know, he's in, he is in clear evolution. Um, I think he's comfortable in the positions he plays. I think he's uh, improving with the progressive style of play of the team. The team is playing progressively in a different way, uh, which makes him feel even more like fish in the water. And he's in these moments where things go well for him. He's the opposite of Marcus. Marcus is, uh, is in, in training and scores unbelievable goals. He's coming to matches and he, he's missing unbelievable chances and hits the post and the goalkeeper saves. So clearly the players, they have these, these moments. I'm not worried with Marcus because the good moment will arrive. And, uh, and Jesse, if, if the negative moment arrives, 
I don't think you will lose this stability that is 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 showing. Is mature. Is he understands the game better. We speak a lot about the areas I want him uh, to play according to the different positions he can he can play. So clearly, he's becoming a a player, really a player. Unfair, unfair, and I told that at half time. Um, I didn't like what I did. Unfair. He didn't deserve. He was playing. Uh, he was playing well. He was not playing bad. Uh, he had a couple of miss miss possession, but he was playing well. He was giving good dynamic to the team. Uh, my feeling was just that Rashford is not going to score a goal. <laughs> In the moment, he is he's not going to score a goal. And because of that, I'm not going to lose time, and I'm going to play Romelo. And then I had to sacrifice a player, and um, was Mickey the one that I sacrificed. But it's something that I normally don't do. But I did that off time. I apologize to him in front of, of the people because he didn't deserve. Okay, last well, question. Just, ask Jesse, just so there's no doubt about what you, you mentioned match fixing. Now, Conte has been involved in failing to report match fixing. You're not talking about him there. Sorry? When you mentioned match fixing right at the end of your answer yeah. to that question about Conte, when Conte has been charged in the past with failing to report match fixing. Did he? Not me. Okay, guys, thank you. What about all the Toronto Melon? I mean, he you know, hasn't celebrated recently, but he celebrated quite wild in it. Do his compliments. The world is good. Do you want the truth? Yes, otherwise. If we have a replay, we don't go to Dubai. And everybody wants to go. <laughs> everybody wants to go. Did you see the player celebrating the second goal? Everybody wants to go. Everybody wants to have a week of uh, good training, good facilities, sun. Everybody wants to go. But now we still depend on Stoke result. Because if Stoke gets a, a, a draw, we don't go to Dubai. <laughs> huh? When we go? Never mind. We go Monday, but but if they they get a draw, we don't go. <laughs> so,